In this video, we're going to create a flash application for the Samsung Smart TVs. Now this assumes that you've already downloaded the SDK for the Samsung Smart TVs and that you've got it installed and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the SDK and I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to select Flash Project and now we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it the Samsung Flashlight Test and I'll use the same name as my ID for now. Now it's going to want to know the path to our Swift file. So before we select that, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Flash, where I've already got a file set up here with very, very simple, just some text on the screen. And you're going to notice that I'm referencing Flash Lite. Now the reason for this is, is that on Samsung 2010 and 2011 TVs, the default use of Flash wants to use Flash Lite 3.1 with ActionScript 2.0. And there's various reasons for that. Just know that if you want to use Flash in conjunction with other files, um, including HTML files and JavaScript files, you'll need to target Flash Lite 3.1. If you want to use Flash 10.1, that's a separate type of application, which I'll describe in a separate video. But for now, I have my settings set to Flash Lite 3.1, ActionScript 2.0, and I've set my stage size to 960 by 540, which is the maximum and default size for Samsung 2010 TVs. On 2011 TVs, it actually allows you to go to 1280 by 720, but to work across both of them, I'm going to set it to 960 by 540. Now, I'm going to go ahead and publish this file as we would with any flash file. Now, I'm going to go back over to the Samsung SDK, and now I can select my Swift file. Now, once I hit Next, it's going to give me a series of settings that I can set for my project, and the one I'm going to focus on now is simply the widget name. And this is the name that will actually appear on the TV for your application. I'm going to hit Finish. And it's going to go ahead and create a basic skeleton for my project. And you notice that in the index.html, it's already um, put the object tag and embedded my Swift file. Now, from here, you can do lots of other things. It doesn't have to be only Flash. You can add other things on the screen and, and interact with your uh, Swift file as you would in normal web development. Now once I have this, I'm going to go ahead and run it in the emulator, which allows me to test basic functionality for my application before I put it onto the actual TV. So far so good. I can, I can see the text on the screen. My application looks like it's running okay. So before I can put it on the TV, I need to review my project settings, which I need to always make sure that I'm setting the icons properly so that the uh, app icons show up properly on the TV. In this case, I'm going to leave them blank for now, just for this test. And then I'm going to package the application. Now, if you reviewed some of the other videos, you'll know that packaging the application creates uh, a zip file that contains all of our resources for our application. And this will be used when you actually want to sync, synchronize the app to the TV from the computer. So I'll go ahead and hit packaging. And I'm going to say yes, I'm going to overwrite my existing one. Packaging is complete. And at this point, I can go to my TV and I can actually synchronize from my laptop directly to the TV and we can run the app. So now that we have our application packaged for the TV and ready to go, we're going to use the TV and we're going to log in with the red A button. And we're going to select the developer account. We're going to log in with the developer account. Now that we're logged in, we can access the development uh, options under the settings, the blue button, D. So I'll go to development and make sure our IP is set correctly. It is, so we'll go back and we'll go ahead and synchronize the applications. And of course, what this is gonna do is pull the application over to the TV and install it directly from your laptop. Okay, now that we've got that, the first thing we need to do is we need to resort these applications so that they show up in the menu. I usually sort by name, it's the green B button. And now we can go and see our Samsung flashlight test. You can see that I did not include any icons. It has the user flag indicating this was a user created application. And we'll go ahead and run it. And it should say, hello TV. There we go, and that's how you get a flashlight uh, application running on the TV.